How's it going everybody, Raising Hell here, and today I just thought I'd bring your attention to the fact that GOG is currently running an offer in which they will match certain games that you have on your Steam account that are in this promotion. So at the moment uh, that I'm recording this, there are 11 days left in the offer. And as you can see here, I actually own quite a few of the games that are currently on offer through GOG. So. For those who aren't quite sure what this is about, what you do is you own a game on Steam, for example, in this case, Banished. I own Banished on Steam. GOG.com is offering to match me for a copy of Banished in my GOG library if I owned it on Steam. So all I have to do is link those two accounts. They take a look at my Steam account. They see that I own Banished and then they give me it on my GOG account. And that's great if you like DRM free games, if you like the idea of actually owning the game, being able to move it from computer to computer without worrying about Steam validation or anything like that. And what really makes this process seamless is the fact that now you don't have to buy the game again because perhaps back when you bought Banished the first time it was on Steam and you know you now currently like the business model that GOG has over Steam, and you'd like to move more of your games there, this makes the process so much more seamless because you don't have to pay anything for those games again, right? So in my case, I have seven games ready out of the total of 12 games that were currently being offered. I had one of them in my library already, my GOG library, and there are seven others that are ready to be added. So I just logged into my GOG.com account linked it with my Steam account. I'm not sure when I did that. It was a while ago though. And now all I have to do here is click add seven games. And as you can see in my library itself, those games are not currently in here. Most of these games I think I got from promotions and whatnot, but I bought stuff like Settlers too. I have bought some stuff on GOG.com. I think I bought Terraria here. Uh, but a lot of this stuff has actually been matched. And what it's allowing me to do is build up my GOG library and make it a viable alternative to Steam at, for very little cost. And I think this is a great step that GOG is taking. So we're going to click here, add seven games. And this says seven games added to your library. So stay tuned for more games joining GOG Connect. And if we go over here and take a look at the library, refresh this, it should show up now with those seven new games. So right there's Banished, very nice. Let's see here, what else? FTL, Advanced Edition, that was one of them. The Banner Saga, that was another one of them. And as you can see here, you can you can view the download and it's really just as simple as that. And one of the things that I'm liking more and more about GOG.com is the fact that they don't require you to be online or anything like that to use your account. There aren't these hoops that you have to jump through constantly. And they also have a little bit more curation than Steam. Recently, Steam announced that they are going to be just putting about uh, everything and anything on the storefront that they want. I, I personally like curation. I really do. I think curation is very important, and I think it was a misstep on Valve's part to try to leave that curation up to their community because, uh, you know, the community does not hold the sort of life or death power that Valve themselves hold. And I, I would just prefer that the Valve would vet games before they stick them up on their store. So for me... I'm, I'm excited to see GOG become a viable contender to Valve, and I think this is definitely a great approach to doing it. If you have a decent number of games in your Steam library, you might want to check this GOG Connect offer out at the moment. For me, what I've seen so far is it happens maybe once or twice every year. They add about 14 games that can be matched, and they're usually pretty common games. The types of games you'd probably see uh, on bestsellers lists from time to time. Like these games could act like Banished, FT FTL especially, I remember that one being one. Kingdom's New Lands, I remember when that one came out. Yeah, uh, Prison Architect was another game that was being matched here. A lot of these games, they're not obscure games in any sense of the word. They're not the types of games you just see thrown in cheap bundles from time to time. These are actually games that sell well and are frequently in the Steam Top 100 most played games from time to time when they're like when they're released or when they go on sale. So like I said, that's GOG Connect. I'll be including a link to this page in the description below the video so you can get there quite easily. Just link your Steam account to your GOG account and you should be fine. If you have any games in your, your library that GOG Connect is currently matching, just you know click add to my account or whatever and you're golden. So hopefully that gives you something to consider at least. Thank you very much for watching as always and I hope to see you next time.